So we got violent criminal offenders are now justice impacted individuals. Or what are victims? It seems like this the modern left, the far left, they really do want to just invert victim and criminal. They want to make the criminals the victims and the victims the the criminals. Justice impacted individuals. Really? Is that what Jeffrey Dahmer was? A couple of months ago in March, a 37-year-old man named Crosetti Brand was released on parole in the state of Illinois. He had been locked up on a charge of home invasion and sentenced to more than a decade in prison. But the state's prisoner review board decided to let him out early with electronic monitoring. Because I guess he was, um, what's the word, justice impacted. Justice cruelly hit him, impacted him. What happened next was predictable. Just the day after he got out of prison, Chicago police say Crosetti attacked a pregnant woman and her 11-year-old boy. Jesus, killing the child and critically injuring his mother. Ugh. According to court documents, the last time he was on parole, Crosetti had threatened the same woman by text message and showed up at her home. But none of Crosetti's criminal history, including his alleged threats, were enough to keep him in prison. His ankle monitor apparently wasn't much of a deterrent when he got out. Now, authorities say, a child is dead as a result. So they would call this person justice impacted. And this is clearly a massive failure of the judicial system in Illinois, which, particularly post-BLM, has focused more on rehabilitation instead of punishment. It's the kind of episode that you'd hope would spur lawmakers in Illinois to pass new laws to rein in their approach to their approach of restorative justice. Well, it doesn't feel like justice, does it? That poor family, I'm sure, doesn't feel like it's justice. But the uh, Illinois government has opted for a very different response. Instead of doing something to prevent violent criminals from getting out of prison, state lawmakers have decided on a course of action that's, drip, that's ripped straight from a Babylon Bee article. A new bill that was just passed by both houses the legislature, and which is expected to be signed by the governor, will modify state law so that the term offender becomes justice-impacted individual. It's like they don't want you to think of the criminals as criminals. It's like they want you to feel sorry for the people committing the crimes, killing people. How is this not an attempt to destroy Western civilization exactly? Right? Right? Like when you get confused between the, the criminals and the victims, like it's a pretty bad sign. It's kind of hard to keep innocent people safe when that happens. When you start calling monsters justice-impacted individuals. Like this is just a a, a level of moral confusion uh, that's, it's, that's totally baffling. I mean, the only explanation is that, like everything else with woke. Everything woke turns to shit but with everything with woke with you know every policy has that effect of making things worse we know that in canada after nine years of justin trudeau progressivism he made literally every single thing worse rogue thought justice impacted sounds like a part of a george carlin bit hurt the innocent reward the guilty leftism in a nutshell yep The proposed legislation would remove the term offender and replace it with justice impacted individual for individuals in the state's adult redeploy Illinois program commonly referred to as ARI. According to the Illinois Criminal Justice Information Authority, ARI is an initiative that diverts offenders from prison to programs to help rehabilitate them to success. Republicans say the language change portrays a lack of empathy for victims and lack of concern for public safety. Change this, change that. The only thing that you don't want to change is the behavior of criminals. In April, House Bill 4409 passed on the House floor 68 to 40. When it comes to the word change, Representative Kelly Cassidy said people shouldn't be defined by their worst day. The label of offender for life does not seem appropriate in a system that we um, intend to return people to. Yeah, until she gets carjacked, right? <laughs> then it might change. Jesus Christ, people are, it's just delusional. It's just delusional. It's a total upending of just reality and common sense. 
Uh, Rogue thought they had the the disease of justice, but now they are better. Yeah, and then everything is about the revolution. They may not even know their role, but their goal is to topple the current system. It sure seems like it. I mean, that can be the only result of turning everything on its head, right? To the point where you are so morally confused that you, you don't even know the difference between a criminal and a victim anymore, an offender and a victim anymore. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.